Welcome! In front of me I have Wefeng Pulse HR and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on the smart band. As you can see, uh, mine is already turned on, but if you need to turn it on, simply press and hold the side button and keep holding it for a couple of seconds until you see the hello message. And after the band uh, turns on, you probably will see the install app message on the screen, which means we need to download and install the uh, WeThings HealthMate application on our uh, phone. So make sure that you have internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on search, type in with with things, and then tap on search, and you should see this application with things have made. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, tap on continue, and you will need to log in or create a new account. So basically enter the email address and then tap on continue. So uh, let me enter the email address. And once you enter the email address, tap on continue. And if, if you have the account, you will get the email. And if you don't, you will need to basically, you will be able to create a new account. Uh, uh, I'm gonna enter the code from my email address. So give me a second. And then tap next. And after you log in, you will see the home page of the app. Now let's tap on the devices icon, tap on install device, select the tracker category, select Pulse HR, tap on install tap on next, allow the permission, tap on next. If the app has problems with detecting your, uh, your smart band, pr press the side button. As you can see, mine turned off basically. So I'm gonna turn it on again by pressing and holding the button. And once it turns on, it should detect the smart band. And once it detects the smart band, tap on next, tap on pair, <laughs> enter the code from your band on your phone, tap on OK, of course, tap on next, select the account you want to use with your smart band or add another account, of course, if you want to. <laughs> tap on next. And now we can set up our goals and stuff like that. So let's tap on next. Select the settings you like, for example, this one, then tap next. Uh, set your goals. Then tap on OK. Tap next. Tap next. Next, 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 and you can enable the notifications now. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your band, you need to tap on enable and allow specific permissions. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. I'm just gonna do it for the video. So I'm gonna tap on, on enable. It will open this page. And here we can enable the phone notifications by tapping on the switch. And then you can enable the notifications by, for the apps by tapping on the um, switch next to the specific app. If you see this message, tap on continue. And now you need to find the WeThings app on the list of uh, applications right here. Tap on it. Tap on the switch next to allow notification access. Tap on allow. And then go back to the app. And now you can enable and disable the notifications for specific apps by tapping on the switch. Uh, you can also enable the notifications for the incoming calls and messages by tapping on the switch, but you will need to allow more permissions, of course, for it to work. Okay, and once you're done, you can 
to go back and tap on let's begin. At this point you should see the home screen, then you can tap on devices and you should see your Pulse HR right here on the devices page, which means that the notifications are, or rather not notifications, my bad, the devices are paired together. Okay, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.